Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. <laughs> okay, I'm super excited today as I usually am because these days I feel like I'm picking better projects, projects that I really, really want to do. So anyway, that's why I'm so excited. This is a pencil pouch. I am doing a whole month long journey of HTV in general, uh, of just kind of like understanding how to layer, um, which products to use, on what uh, substrate. So anyway, this is a pencil pouch. I'm getting ready for school, getting my daughter back to go into in class. And um, yeah, I wanna make everything super, super cute and super fun and also um, that no one will take her stuff. <laughs> so this pencil pouch is from Amazon. I love it because first of all, can we just talk about this? It has like a rod right here, so it stays up like it's sturdy and it holds so much. I already tested it out. I put so much in here and like it's like a full on rectangle and then it folds up like this into like a little pyramid and then zips up. Anyway, on the front side, I was probably just going to put her name. Maybe not. We'll see. On the back side, I had more. So I wanted to do this cute little thing to remind her and everyone around her be kind because you're in school everyone needs to be kind everyone needs to have a good time at school um, and everyone needs a friend so <laughs> i love rainbows rainbows kind of like part of my logo so i wanted to do the rainbow i wanted everything to look just really really cute i was gonna do a reel first and then do this um this step-by-step -step tutorial but i already messed up so i thought okay this is actually i'm gonna flip it i'm gonna do the the tutorial first to show you how I would go about fixing this. So normally, so I put this on and I, you know, like I had a feeling it was not good, but it still didn't like completely register. All of my rainbow like colors at the end is a straight line. And I know there's a glare right there, so you can't see, but you see it's all a straight line but not this one. And yet I still put it down and I still heated it up. <laughs> and the problem with this one is it's got like a little pouch right here. So I can't get the heat in here to heat from behind and try to peel up. So I recut the piece. That's how we're going to fix it. Um, and this, you know, it's so funny. I really thought this design was so cute. Um, I did it myself. So and that's probably another reason why I thought it was so cute because, you know, I hardly ever really design design. Um, and it didn't really occur to me that it would be a little bit difficult to, to, to do because um, it's just a cloud and some colors, right? But it's going to be important that each one of my lines are, um, that it's straight and that it matches up with the cloud. So I thought the easiest thing to do would be the, the pink first to get that initial line down. Once that line is down, then I kind of know where to put the cloud. I'm probably gonna do the pink, then the purple, line those two up, then the cloud, and then all the other colors will line up afterwards. So anyway, I have it down here so I can see what the order is, but let's do this one first. So since this is already down, I tried to peel it up. It wasn't going to peel up. I'm just going to put another one on top. Luckily, so this is HTV from Polytape. Um, oh, I just want to be clear. I do not get commissions on you guys buying it. So just wanted to throw that out there because I know sometimes people are always wondering, well, did you get that for free? Like, how, like why do you like it? But I'm going to tell you why I like it, and, and I think that... It, it's going to be super clear one it's really thin so you could their recommendation is you can layer up to five so like i could put five of these on top of each other and it would still be okay and norm, of course you would never do that right what, what you would do is like you would layer a bunch of things on top of each other like the b is on top of the cloud right i can do technically three more layers on top of that their recommendation is five Ashley from Falco Clan, if you follow her on Instagram, she went bananas. She did nine layers <laughs> on her baseball jersey, and it's so cute. So you can do it, and the reason why is because um, you can pull out. I have HTV from Amazon. I have HTV from Cricut. It is thinner, so it just feels really thin. What I like about it is when you do this, Honestly, I think if I didn't, if I had my eyes closed and I just did this, I don't know if I would really 
um, that it would register that there is a layer of HTV right here. That's how smooth it is on this piece. So, um, and then it cuts and weeds beautifully. All right. Now I picked a difficult project. I picked something that was small. I picked something that, you know, I can't just like put in my press. So you're going to have to put this inside so that you don't burn your hands, but you're, you're, you know, kind of like pushing up to give pressure here to add this pressure down to make sure that it sticks. Right? So my first layer, um, will not be that hard because I'm just lining it up because I'm trying to fix my mistake. So I want to make sure that this is on and you know what I'm even going to do because I need it, you know, these rectangles, they're only so big, right? I'm actually going to tape it down so that I have it in the right place because it's already a mistake. <laughs> so we really want to make sure that when I fix this mistake that I'm fixing it and not adding to it. Okay. So I feel like this is lined up well, at least I thought it was. Okay, so I'm going to tape it down there. That's heat resistant tape. Not that the heat is going to go over there, but all right. So here's that. I'm going to stick my hand in and it's still moving a little bit. So I really want to, I know I really picked a, a crazy project. Okay, every time it pops up a little bit. So I'm going to tape it down over here as well. All right, that looks good to me. Okay, so I've got it underneath. I really want this to stay because I want it to be straight. So here we go. Now this is their Polyflex Turbo. So a Polyflex Turbo um, at 265 degrees, which is pretty low, you need to press it for five seconds. At 320 degrees, so if you can, if your um, if your blank can handle higher heat, and you did it at 320 degrees, you only need to press it for three seconds. I mean that that to me is amazing. The fact that something will stick in three seconds, um, and this is something that you could put on a shirt and wash and still, you know, have it. So. That's another reason why I think it's amazing. Now I do know um, you. This is a lot easier. So it is a warm, lukewarm peel, and it makes a difference. So I'm super impatient. As soon as I uh, I pull off my heat, and if my hands can handle it, I want to peel it off. But the HTV does not adhere really well yet so it really does need to cool down just a little bit and then you pull it off and it's super super easy okay so this is down i'm going to line up the purple one and i'm almost wondering if i really should in this case because i want it to be perfect if i should use my tape all right i'm going to line that up hold on and I'm going to put my tape down to keep that there. And then I'm going to line up my cloud. I hope it's good. All right. We just, we just got to do it. <laughs> All right, so here's the purple. I'm wondering if I have too much space in between. All right, I'm just going to do it. Um, okay, on this one, though, I do want to protect the, the pink. So I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to hold this down. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. The thing is at the end, what I want to do is I want to do one final press for about five seconds. Um, cause every time that you, so like right now we're going to lift this up a little bit, right? I'm not sure I understand. What? Where did that come from? Oh, is that my phone? <laughs> I mean, it was my watch. Okay. So, um, 
As we're pulling this up, even though it's sticking and I'm not really, I don't feel like I'm lifting it at all, but the fact is we are pulling it up from the from it being anchored down to our blank. So in the end, you wanna press it to make sure that it anchors down to your blank and that it's stuck on there. Um, and this, you know, pencil pouch, it's gonna get a lot of wear and tear. So it is, you know, gonna be in the backpack. It's, you know, all of that. So let me pull up my, I'm gonna have on my screen, which you can't see, but um, it's gonna be the actual design. So I just wanna make sure that I can, <laughs> that I can see and try to put this down as best as I can. All right, come on design, come on up. Okay, here we go. Um, so there's our pink and it's kind of right there. Okay, I hope this is good. <laughs> I'm gonna hold that down like this. And this is one big piece. So I wanna make sure I'm holding it kind of still right now so that that part anchors down and it doesn't shift on me at all. And then I'm gonna get this side. Okay. I can see the, the texture coming through. So I, I feel like it's adhering. And see, like this is already lifting and it's down there. And again, we're gonna put more heat to this, so at the end. But look at that, so cute. Okay, next layer. Okay, let's see how many layers I can put on. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not putting all of them down and, and doing it at one time, is because um, you need to make sure that the HTV is completely touching your blank. Because well, sometimes when you line these up, like for instance, if I were to do this, okay, my light blue is sitting on top of this carrier sheet. So when you press it like this, you're gonna have a problem because it's gonna you're gonna lose some of your HTV. And I can't even tell you how many times that has happened to me, which is so annoying, right? Because <laughs> it's like um, I know that, and yet. I don't know it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do this top part up here and see if I can line up a few things at one time. And sorry, I wanna make sure it's straight, so I need to flip this around. And oh, I hope this is straight. All right, let's see, let's put this one down. See, this is a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Um, had I thought it through, I don't know if I would have done this same, this same project. Okay, so I'm running out of space a little bit, so I wonder if I could move this up a little bit. I probably can. Okay, so I'm gonna put it up like this. And I think the best thing to do now is to go top to bottom so that we can line everything up um, as best as we can, okay? So that we can evenly um, stretch out my mistakes. <laughs> okay, so this one, I'm just going to get down this side and I don't care that my cloud isn't touching. I just wanna get this down so that it doesn't move on me. Then I'm gonna do this. Okay, so while that's going, the next color is going to be this. Um, it's gonna be this dark blue right here. Okay, so that should have cooled off. Yay. So pretty, right? Okay, so that cooled off. Let's see, the next one is we're gonna put this yellow one up here. Right here. 
right? And then we have two colors in between. So we've got that one. I know, and I keep relining this up because I'm trying to make sure that I'm putting enough space in between so that this will all look good later. Okay, so I think we're okay. Let's put this one, I'm gonna put this one a little bit closer, like maybe like that. Okay, so I'm gonna move these two out of the way. Oh, I dropped one. Okay, and I'm going to tape this down a little bit so it doesn't move on me. Okay. And again, the reason why I'm doing that is just so that I get it to stick enough. So then I'm going to do this and I don't have to worry about the whole project moving on me because that a portion of it is down. All right. Okay. It's uneven. I know it. <laughs> All right. Let me pull up this piece. Okay. So let's do the next one. The next one is the green one. So I'm going to put this here. Oh, and it's hot. Okay. I'm going to tape this down. Oh. This is um, a project that requires patience. And something that I'm not good with, I'm not very good at being so, so patient. So. And you see as they're pressing each bar, each color, then the other colors are exposed and getting that extra heat. So it will like, between all the presses, you know, get enough heat to stay down, okay. Look at that. Yay, we have two colors left. All right, we've got this blue. Am I gonna regret that? Okay. Let's press this down. Okay, then we've got one last color. Now, I'm not pulling this up just yet, but I think this light blue is touching only the pencil pouch, so, but you know what? I'm just gonna pull it off there. Oh my gosh, it's all looking so cute. I love it. I know, I, you know, it's funny, um, oops, I have a little, I'm gonna trim this so that it doesn't um, ruin the, the blue underneath it, just in case. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna tape it over here like that. So I'm only gonna apply heat up here. Um, I love doing this journey because it really is kind of stretching what I know and what I'm comfortable with. And it's just another, another, you know, um, project that we can master and it's in our little toolbox now. So I love that. And I love really, um, like understanding, I feel like with HTV, there's a lot of bad um, info out there, right? It's like, 
you hear people say things like, oh, well, this is how I do it and it's always worked for me. But that doesn't mean that it actually works. It could just have been like a lucky combination that works for you. But if you had done that on any other project, it wouldn't have worked, you know, something like that, right? <laughs> so I love having this like panel of experts here watching my projects, giving me feedback, and then also being able to answer any questions that you guys post. So if you have questions, post them in the comments. I will make sure that an expert actually reads it and not me. <laughs> okay, so we've got, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? This can go down completely because everything is touching here. So that looks good to me. I'm gonna put this up like this cover the whole thing and let's press and then we're going to press everything for a good five seconds in the end okay. be kind okay um the heat press has been going on a while so i'm going to let this cool like this so you can layer, I mean, I just love this. And then I don't know if you can, oh, you can see it. The word kind is, it's this, um, let me see if I have it right here. I might, it's under their image line. I mean, just first of all, look at what I have to work with. It's so cool, right? Having all these swatches. Um, so this one is the Starflex rainbow it's so pretty so you can see it's kind of like yellow green blue and then a dark blue okay so now i'm going to peel this off and a girlfriend of mine just went to a new kids on the block concert last night she used this like i could see in the picture that it was like um one of these you know like uh rainbow flex kind of thing like not glitter but um like a i don't know like what i think of like fish like that fish book the rainbow fish book like that um and she said she had a hard time and i know exactly what she's talking about i have had that material with cricket the cricket brand before and it sticks to the thing it's like a struggle to get that thing down so anyway this is all down i'm going to press everything right now so i'm going to stick my hand in here underneath this pad push up on it and anyway um so she was telling me like i well i was telling her oh my gosh the shirt looks so good and she said, oh my gosh, I wanted to pull my hair out. Like it almost didn't work. And she had to stop using the big press because she needed to get her fingers in there and press certain areas more than others. And I said, I totally get it. But you saw how easy that word kind stuck to it. We literally just pressed it, let it cool and then peeled it off, right? So um, I, yeah, that material is my favorite. I really like the turbo because the turbo lets me um, press with just five seconds. And you can see I'm pressing more than five seconds right now, right? But I know that with the five seconds, it's down. All this extra stuff is just, I don't know, I think it's peace of mind for me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna press the word kind a little bit longer and then we're gonna pull up, okay. And it's warm right now, so I can't, but nothing is sticking up. Yay, look at that. <sighs> All right, I don't know how I'm gonna do a reel on this because that took a lot of time. I'm gonna be speeding it up like crazy. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm gonna pull this out so you can see it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Be kind. And look at, it's so shimmery. Um, let me know what you wanna see. I still have a lot of things coming up. I have a hoodie. Um, I have chalk HTV coming up. So the HTV that's gonna lay down, you can use chalk to write on it so you could change your messages. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Um, what else do I have? I have hair bows, like a cheer bow coming up. Anyway, so many things. Oh, hand sanitizer, like the, um, the little pouch that it comes in. I don't know, so, so many fun things for back to school. Anyway, let me know what you think. I will see you guys next time. Bye.